Uh, a chew. Bless you. Spyro, because I'm pretty sure that's what your sneeze. Anyway, hey, what's up? I don't use cheese and we'll get back to Spyro the Dragon. Last time we. I guess. I think. I don't remember. I could be wrong. But I think we finished up the Magic Crafters world. And then got in here to Beast Maker's world. Actually, wait. Or did we end on that? I don't remember. All I know is that we did all this stuff, all this jazz, and this time we're going to be hopefully getting close to finishing up, and actually pro most likely finishing up, the Beast Maker's World, because we only have three levels left. So let's go into Treetop to start off our day. Oh, this is, I'm pretty sure I remember this level, and I don't think I like it. If, I, if it's the level I remember, if it is. Oh, yep, it is. I don't like this level. I really don't. Like, I will not lie when I say I don't care for this level in the slightest. Mainly because it's harder to... It's kind of a little more difficult to 100% than normal levels, in a way. I don't know, it's hard to explain. But I guess we just have to follow the path and believe in our instincts. He bastard. Oh, there's the key for the... Ch or the chest for the key already. That was actually pretty quick. And there's our first dragon. Oh, well, once we collect these treasures. Isaac. Spyro, if you jump at the end of a supercharge ramp, you can really go far. I'm all over it. Oh, is that a fact, Spyro? I don't think so. But anyway, uh, looks like here we can use these to boost. Boom. Looks like there's some cash here. And another one-up. Uh, okay, just... Wow, that was... This is quote-unquote fast, because look, there's the return of home area. Already. Well, you know, I like, uh... I like taking things down as much as the next guy, but I think I need a better strategy. And I think that requires coming going around and like using a speeding area that is more effective. Oh Oh, 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 okay. I think I have my strategy. Whee! Come on. There we go. No, we didn't get him? I thought we got him! 
Oh, now we got him, and that's a 25er, not bad. Sorry for, like, not talking for, like, a good amount of time there. I don't know why I didn't decide to talk. It's like a habit kind of thing. Okay, but now that we have all the treasures from up here, I think what I want to do... Uh, I'm not going to make it. Do I miss? Okay. Is there another way to get over different things? Oh. Is that right there? So. Oh, kabloom! Okay, so I mean, I come back over here to this to the beginning area, and go back to that path where I found the key. Cause it looks like there was another route there that I overlooked again. It seems I overlooked things. Yeah, of course I did. And this is where we'll find the rest of the stuff we gotta take care of, and another one of them. And getting smacked in the face by bananas. Apparently, that's my life now. Okay, go and blow these with fire. And let's get some more gems. Then we can make our way over here. And save another dragon! Lyle, I think it is. Greetings, Spiral. For an amazing tour of the treetops, don't just stop at one supercharge. Ha! Huh. What an interesting idea! Which is his little com comment there is actually the key to getting to that dragon all the way over there if you see through those through the fence. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go around make double check make sure we got all the gems here before doing anything in drastic or rush and so let's try this we okay I think there's a certain way you have to get over there but I'm trying to remember what exactly it is that's the worst things I have not played the end part of this game and over over like a month or two. I'm trying to think how to do this. Oh, that backfired. There's the return home option. I'm just gonna commit Saboku, because why not? Okay, so I think there's gotta be some way to get myself rapid speed over there. I think I might actually have a strategy for this one. And that backfired. Okay, so I managed to figure out what I had to do. Yes, I went and looked it up because I completely forgot and I had to spend a bit more time trying to figure it out. But hey, no judging. But without feeling, come on, that is, mmm, I don't like this. I don't like this. I don't care for this level. This is why I don't like this level is that the stupid jumps are like never wanting to go the way I want them to. Let's try this again.
And there we go. So we'll take all these treasures, get catch this bandit. Ten off? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That ten legitimately could be anywhere. That was quite a ride, Spyro. You learned a lot since you were a young glider. Yeah, well, you could have found an easier spot to get stuck. Well, this is just great. I I have ten more, and I'll have all five hundred. But I don't remember where the ten is. Where it could literally be anywhere, and it could be in a group of like five. <sighs> Sometimes I hate collectathon games. Actually, wait, I realize where it's at. It's in this chest I never broke. That's where it is. How can I forget that? But with 100% level complete, it's finally time to return home. Alrighty, with tre with treetops done, that leaves the last two levels, which are the boss fight and the flight level. So let's jump all the way down here and go straight into the wild flight. Okay, I think this time around we'll start off with the... or not. Saying, this time around we're going to start with the chests. Actually, hold on. I'm gonna fail the mission because I think I screwed that up. I think I need to try doing this. Dang it! Try this again. Sorry I'm not, you know, talking a lot again. Okay, there's one more, and he's right there. Now we can go after the chests. Which also have the airplane men. Bam, bam. Okay, where are the other two? Or the other three? There's one. Here's two. And there's three. 13 seconds left, let's do it. Kaboom! Thank you. 
Alright, that's another level complete, and that just leaves... After going through all of them, 100%, that just leaves the boss level. So let's head on over. I'll actually probably meet you guys all the way over there, because we've been over there before, and so there's nothing new. Alrighty, here we are, let's head into Metalhead. not talking there, but anyway, this is the metalhead level. Looks like we have some guys that are gonna, or some of these m monkey type enemies. I don't remember what exactly they're called, but they're gonna kick those metalhead guys towards us. I'm just gonna call them metalheads, because even though they're not the boss fight, they look like they're they are metalheads. But they're gonna kick them towards us, which will be fun. Have a sense. Oh, that ended badly. Okay, take two. This time we're gonna be prepared and actually go this way instead of you know going the other way. Everything backfiring. Okay, looks like some more gems around here. Pretty sure there's usually just a whole bunch of gems and then uh, one one uh, like one dragon to save. At least that's what I've noticed from previous boss fights. Ooh, one up. Uh, is there anything else over here? Ooh, there's a gem I could have easily missed, but I didn't. But actually, something we're going to do is come down this way, because there's a secret area down here. Which houses a 1-up? We're actually racking up some lives here. Which I guess isn't too bad, because we are getting towards the end of the game. I can say we have, like, I believe two worlds left. And each world does get a little bit more challenging. Not too challenging, but it will get a bit more challenging. Okay, so now we have the key. So now we just have to get out of here. Which, there's our ticket. We Okay. Now go ahead and hit this. Get ourselves yet another life, and I believe that's everything from this open area that we've gotten to the furthest part of exploring. Because I think that from here we go to the next area. And there's our first dragon. Or probably the only dragon. Sadaki. Metalhead is all charged up to meet you. Attacking the power pole should disrupt his power supply. Yep, all dragons found. But looks like we need to destroy these without dying. Okay, take two on this. Gonna collect those gems that I saw. And get electrocuted, as you know, why not?
Okay, that just takes out his all of his metal or his robotic -ness stuff. I don't know what to call it. I'm like not even with myself today. I don't know. Okay. So let's head down to the next room. Uh. Okay, destroy, destroy. And there we go, that's all those. Now before we head in there, because over there is obviously going to be the return home area. We're going to want to head up here, because there's a little bit of secret passage here that you can easily overlook. And here's the chest where that key goes. Let's put her in. Alright, now we just- now we can actually, like, head in there. Yep. Oh, there's the return home area, and here's just a whole bunch of gems. No. No! Oh, damn it! Guess I'll be back. This is legitimate proof that I am a complete idiot. I didn't walk out and come around here. I just spent literally like five minutes going through the entire level again when they were all at the end of the level. Lovely. Let's return home. Okay, so that is every dra every dragon and every gem for the Beast Maker's world. So we are ready to head off. Oh, I feel much better now that so many dragons have been rescued. Jump in the balloon, and I'll show you the Dreamweaver's world. Are you ready to go? To the Dreamweaver's world. And next time on Spyro the Dragon, we explore the Dreamweaver's world to its fullest potential. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure you give it a like. It truly helps out a ton. Make sure you subscribe to Dibbly Dibbly if you have not already. And I will see you guys all later.